How's it going everybody? Welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be running through the gear I use to create my digital artwork. So I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, run through my current setup just so you can see the gear that I'm using to create my artwork and I can hopefully link that back to future videos where it becomes relevant. The first thing to mention is that gear really doesn't matter. I know a lot of people say that um, but the, the best thing that you can do is get comfortable with the stuff that you have. But on the other hand, gear does give you a little bit of confidence. I always like looking forward to getting a new piece of kit. It does push you a little bit more to experiment with things. Um, and sometimes it's just cool to have. So I create all of my artwork digitally. I always just use stuff that I'm most comfortable with. It doesn't mean it's the best stuff. Some of this is kind of entry, entry level kit. Um, but we'll be going over that. So up first is my iMac. My iMac's a 27 inch 5K screen. Uh, I bought it a couple of years ago. I think it's running the eight gigabyte RAM. I got the larger model, well, just because I wanted a bigger screen, um, but also because you can actually um, update the RAM in the back. Um, the smaller units, the 21 inch ones, don't do that anymore, they're a closed unit. And so you can't future proof them. So you um, bear that in mind if you're going to if you're thinking about buying a new one. I love this thing. This is my, my baby. This is where I do most, most of my work. I do do some stuff on the other bits of kit, which I'll show you later on, but this is my main workhorse. I'm currently running the Adobe Creative Cloud, Cloud Suite. I have the sort of full package, but you can go and use the photography one, um, which is just Photoshop and Lightroom. I think that's about like eight pounds a month. And that's really good if you're starting out, because that will just give you everything you need to um, start digitally painting or creating artwork. Just a little side note, I do put it on a little sandy uh, wooden stand. I just have that raised up, and that just helps you when you're at your desk uh, for such long periods of time. So what do I use to draw? Well, I actually use the Wacom Intruist Pen which is kind of the updated version of the bamboo. Um, this is the, like the smallest version you can get. This is all you really need. I've, I've got an Intuos Pro um, back at work, uh, which is a little bit larger, but I don't really see much of a difference. And this unit is great if you're starting out. Um, some of these actually come with Manga Studio as well. You pay a few extra quid and you get that piece of kit. Um, and that's everything you need to start painting, creating comics, etc. I've been using these things for the last decade and I am never without one. We're moving on to my new favorite bit of kit, which is the iPad Pro. I bought this at the beginning of the year because I was too cheap to buy a Wacom Cintiq. I really wanted to draw on screen, but I didn't want to shut out for the price and not like it or not get on with it. So I bought the iPad Pro, which kind of, it's, half the price. Absolutely love this thing. I've moved all of my comic inking over to this now. I'm current, currently running Procreate on it. This does most of the digital painting that the Photoshop can do, although the selection tools and all the adjustment stuff is just so much better on there for me when it comes to colouring, so I move all of my work from here to there. This little unit is great if you're just starting out and you want a digital paint, um, or you haven't got the space for an iMac or a tower PC. It's been so portable. Um, I've taken it on planes, buses, and trains. Um, after this, I'm going to go take it uh, with me to make another video with a friend, and it's just, just so easy. This feels great to draw on, and it's pushed my artwork a little bit further, actually, in terms of inking comics. Um, yeah, great, great unit. The pencil it comes with is really great. Um, great if you're transitioning over from traditional media and you don't like the feel of the clunkier, thicker Wacom pen tablets. This one literally is just a white pencil. The tip feels really nice on the screen. It's great to draw with. Um, the only draw, like the drawback is that this costs like a hundred pounds, which was ridiculous. Plus the I don't know if anybody's seen, but the the way you charge this thing is just ridiculous. I mean, who like who designed it? <laughs> I imagine it's probably just supposed to sit on your desk, and yeah, it's not get attached. But like me, if you're low on space, like this thing's just going to hang over the edge, and it's just waiting just to like snap off. Um, you can charge it with a lead, but it's equally ridiculous. That's my only gripe with. Um, with this, this is 
fantastic and I'm going to be using it for a lot more. Last but not least is my WD Elements 2 terabyte hard drive. Um, I back everything up on this thing now, um, super portable, doesn't require any sort of additional charge to it um, and it's just smart. Definitely, definitely, definitely back up your work if you're doing digital painting because um, if you lose those files it's it's gone, it's not coming back. And that is it, that's all the gear that I use. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful, uh, if you did please give it a like um, and if you want to see more videos from me please consider subscribing below. As always you can see my work in progress and future updates on Instagram so please follow me there uh, and you can see all of my current work at the link above. Again, thanks for stopping by and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. He's dragging my face. <laughs> I can't see how I'm going glasses on. Um.